hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys have been doing okay it's been a crazy time and sorry there's a glare behind me but i'm here with a haul so i went on one last thrift trip before all the craziness ensued and i love bringing you guys hauls because that's like the fun of it you get to shop so just a little bit of background, I'm a reseller on the eBay and Poshmark platform. Um, it is my primary source of income and I love it. I am a mom and for the first time, I don't have a little one in the background talking. Yay! Anyways, and I just have like my living room behind me. I redid like my picture wall. You guys can't see it, but it's like super cute. I have to show you my, I have to show you guys my apartment tour because all of my inventory is in my apartment and I live in a one bedroom, which is crazy. There's not enough space, so. I make it work anyways so i got a couple of things more than a couple of things i spent 60 dollars at two places and one being a goodwill and one being a local thrift store oh my god i have so much so i'm gonna have to run through i literally have five minutes just wanted to show you guys what i got i'm just so blessed i thank god every day that i have the opportunity to just be able to build the knowledge to be able to resell and flip things for profit i primarily sell clothes and accessories and dresses things like that so clothes, accessories, dresses, and shoes. I love, love, love shoes. Whether it's like UGG, I'll sell, you know, Brooks, um, Nike, sneakers. I'll sell, you know, the heels. I mean, you name it, I sell it. So anyway, I just wanted to show you what I got. I just happened to go in. I didn't really find any shoes, but um, I'm just going to go through everything all in one. And I will tell you the expected amount of profit that I'm looking to get. I still have the tags on it. So if you guys see the tags... That's fine. I usually don't discuss like every single cost of good. I think there's certain things in your business that are different. Everyone's cost is different with thrift stores rising, you know, definitely think outside the box, estate sales, fill a bag sales, church sales. I love church rummage sales, you know, so you can get some good stuff without having to go to the thrift store. These are from the thrift store. So just a disclaimer, but I get good things in our area hasn't quite price gouged. I mean, some of the stuff is like $20, but a lot of it's still under $10 at our local thrift stores. So anyway, I live in Texas, by the way. First place I went, I was like in a panic mode because I was like, uh, I don't have any time. I had the little one with me. She was running around. Craziness. But I was able to look through some stuff. Um, they are, the thrift place I went to is called like Thrift Town. They are typically a little bit more expensive. I feel like they go through and fine tooth like their items and like price them up. Like the Nikes are all like tees are like $12.99. That's just not reasonable, you know? Nike doesn't even sell on the resale market unless it's something special, something unique. So for me, my posh and eBay information below, but definitely like and subscribe. And I'm so grateful this haul is amazing. Just happened to be at the right place at the right time. That's all it is going often, going early. And I was just trying to get stuff before all this craziness ensued and we were gonna be in the house for God knows how long. So literally only God knows how long. First thing I got at the first place was a pair of shoes. These are Keen and they're women's. They were in the men's section. Keen is a hiking shoe. Their sandals do extremely well. Look for that symbol. Uh, obviously they have been worn, but they're still in excellent condition. And I saw comps at $30 on Poshmark. Um, I didn't even check eBay for this exact style. I looked for this little style, kind of like a, I don't know, flat. But people are hiking, people are still outdoors, people are still walking outside and wanting comfort shoes, you know, whether it's around their property. So I definitely thought this would be a good time to pick these up. So, um, you know, you can kind of see how much I paid for them. A little bit more than I want to, but I mean, $6 into 30 and I will profit like 24. I'm happy with that. Next up, I got this dress by Bowden and it is a beautiful purple dress. Um, uh oh, is there a mark on there? But anyway, I got it because it's long, it's comfy. People are in the house right now. Like I just said, I'm gonna keep saying that. <laughs> Trying to cater to the times right now um, because selling, reselling is kind of been a little bit slow just as people, you know, holding onto their money for essentials. If you guys don't know, it is March, 2020, a few weeks before my 29th birthday, no, 29th birthday, I'll be 29, wow. And it's just been kind of crazy. We're having like some just quarantines and all types of stuff all over the world, but it seems like it's getting under control. Again, only God knows. But this dress I got for a couple reasons. One, it was only priced at $299. It was very low. That's what I like to pay. I could get, you know, $34. For it. Also, I got this because even though Bowden is hit or miss, it's a beautiful color. It's spring, it's comfy, and it's a larger size. I'm kind of slacking in the larger size, guys, just because 
it's so hard. I go through the smalls and the mediums. I feel like I find designers left and right. And then I go to the larges and it's like Kato, Walmart, you know, is anyone else frustrated? Like, I'm like, where's the big brands? Or Torrid, and I love Torrid, but it's just been saturated. When I say brands, guys, these are brands that I sell for resale. So that's why I'm mentioning them. But anyway, this is a 14 long. For someone to be tall and heavier set, they're gonna really appreciate this in my closet. They're gonna appreciate that I have a wide range. So I didn't see any other sizes, but this is Bowden, and I'm hoping to make about 30 with that. Put it up for 35, taking best offer. Oh, I'm so excited about the next haul. I'm not gonna show you guys that next yet. Up in a 1X is Soft Surroundings. Again, I saw a couple of these, but these were in excellent condition. Um, they're just pink and they have this button detail at the hem. They're pants. Soft Surroundings sells online like a catalog. They actually sell really well for me. If it's something broidered, something pretty, it does sell. I do have pieces that sit, but then I have pieces that sell same week. You just never know. So, excuse the air, guys. Anyways, so this is a 1X2. And they weren't asking an amount. Like, they were asking four bucks. So I will pay four and under for pants unless it's something really unique. So that's why I got these plus size. Again, I'm adding color. I'm adding plus size. I'm adding comfy in this season right now with reselling. Next is this brand is Lily Pulitzer. And usually they mark up and they didn't. They actually had it for a reasonable price. Four dollars. I will take it. Usually I pay around two to six dollars for dresses up to eight dollars if it's something really unique. Um, it is shows a light signs of wear and there is like a small mark. So I'm gonna have to gel that out. I don't know if you can see it, but, um, when I say gel, I mean, this guy is my holy grail. Like it gets out no matter what stain you have. If this doesn't get the stain out, it just, it's not a stain or it's just, it's a, not going to come out, but this baby. Okay. Blowouts. Y'all moms know spit up, whatever this, I love this get you some oxyclean with the little nubs okay or soap too so anyway this was a, a regular size this was a medium so it's a more common size but for that price um, I am looking to get a uh, little that actually commands like 40 45 for something like used and up to 100 or more if new so um, because there is like light signs of wear, like there's a little mark here and a little mark at the bottom I'm thinking I'm going to Go with like 35, 40, probably start 40 and, and take best offer. Y'all run a tally for me. I need to run like a number right here. All right, so this will start a theme you guys will see later. So I picked up this St. John, beautiful, like elegant brand. And this is a St. John's Basics, but it's a knit dress. And it looks like there's some little bit of fuzz on there. But guys, I just sold comps for $80 on Poshmark today for a similar or same style dress, all black, super cute and i'm gonna show you guys what i got at a separate place which is so ironic you'll see hold on up there the dress i got this is babaton and this is a large good size it's like a really cute shift like midi dress midi going down to the mid ankle super cute it's looking ashy but it's really like dark dark black it looks so nice so luxurious this actually um, sold us aritzia.com it's very popular on poshmark i've sold items from there quite often and be because this is such a staple it is a little fancier people aren't really going to wear this in the house but they could have maybe an event they have in mind later i'm gonna start this at 40 and take best offer all right i'm running through this guys sorry okay up next i tried this swimsuit i went to the swimwear it wasn't a lot but this brand and tag stood out to me see how like high quality that tag is it looks like something I should take a look at. So it's called Solid and Striped. It's actually sold at Revolve. Revolve.com is a great resource for people wanting to sell on Poshmark. It sells free people. It sells different types of brands on there. But um, it's usually really sought after and people shop a lot on Revolve. So if you want to get a gauge for brands, what's hot, what's going on right now in fashion, definitely Revolve.com. Every brand doesn't do the same, you know, but there's a lot of great brands you can look out for. I saw swimsuits selling for 40 and up, so I'm going to try that. And it's super cute. I think the color is so vibrant. Once we're back and running and people can go on spring break and go on their vacations again. Super cute. My receipt, I spent about $60, I think $57. Yep, $57. $60 at each place, so about $120 a day. We'll see. Actually, I threw this in there. I don't know why. I think this is, was for me. This was like $2. But this is a super cute jumpsuit. And it ties. And it's the brand Tosh and Sophie. 
I don't know, but the the tag looks nice. It's either like a boutique China brand or something, but it's probably for me to keep most likely. But I'll look up comps. If there's anything of value, I will try to sell it. But I think I'm going to keep this one. And then I got my friend who's having a baby. Cute little mom's BFF shirt. How cute. Now for the King Pumba haul, the big haul, guys. I'm so excited. I ran the store. I was just grabbing and grabbing. There was so much good stuff. I found like little bits and pieces. And then all of a sudden the pants section, it was bonkers. It was crazy. Do people say bonkers anymore? I'm old. I'm sorry. Anyway, so one of the items I got was this Double D Ranch. And this is an excellent, like, never worn, like, pair of slacks. They look darker in person, but they're literally no flaws. Like, brand new, crisp, tag removed, no one wore. Double D Ranch sells extremely well for me, especially on eBay. It sells um, really good because it's from this area of Texas. All right, up next, it's just about to get crazy. I found tons of this brand. This is the brand I found all day. This is St. John, and this is their evening line. Again, this is a very high-end, two to $300 pieces line. I found these pants, or oh, sorry, this skirt, slit skirt, so cute. Well, I found that and I found a couple of the pieces and then I went to the pants and I found another St. John, beautiful, but these are pants, green, oh my God, gorgeous. Definitely stand out. There was some black pair, I actually left some and I told my friend, I'm like, girl, you need to get here right now. I don't know why I'm so hyper, guys. I'm sorry, let me calm, let me calm down maybe because I don't have the baby I'm just like ah, da, da, da. all right next up is Habitat this is an excellent brand to sell especially on eBay I think I've found it at the bin or something that's a pay by the pound goodwill and it's just sold well and it had the new tag it's ripped but it's new and I'm definitely gonna put this up I'm gonna ask um, 35 for this and for those each of those skirts and pieces I just showed you I'm gonna ask about 60 to 70 dollars yeah, St. John does really well, and especially on auction on eBay. Another St. John. The whole closet was donated, guys. Beautiful. Oh, my God. Look at that color. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Another St. John. Gorgeous cream pant. Oh, my gosh. And they had black. I might have to go back. I looked through all the blazers. Their tweed blazer suits do extremely well. I'm talking in the hundreds. I didn't find any, so I might have to go back. But we're on quarantine. They're closing all restaurants and stuff here, so it's not a good time. And this is my receipt, $57. How ironic that I spent the same amount at both places on accident. And another St. John basic pants. So, so nice. Oh my gosh. All of those I'm going to put up for like $70, $75. Might get a little bit less, $50, but I will take that. Okay, so that same person donated a lot of stuff. There was other brands I had never heard of. I'll put them around the screen if I can remember. Um, so I didn't get any of that. Oh my gosh, I got this. Okay, so at the last place, I forgot to show you guys this. I got this brand, 41 Hawthorne. They had a lot of this brand. This is from Stitch Fix, but it's been kind of slow for me, so I only get standout pieces. This was a like cardigan jacket. Oh, so cute with like a knit back. Because it's a standout piece, it's a basic, people are more willing to pay for, up for, you know, jackets and stuff like that. So that's why I got it. The blouses and the dresses, they have to be really stand out or new a tag for me to pick up Stitch Fix. And there's so many brands under Stitch Fix. Definitely search Stitch Fix and Solds on Poshmark and you will see what I'm talking about. There's some that do well and there's some that, you know, less than $20. So you just have to use your discernment and research for that. And then I got some super cute cargo pants I could tell by the feel I said I know what these are lululemon one of my favorite brands to sell high end a really nice um activewear brand and these are so cute like that vibrant color is definitely going to be perfect for someone lounging when to work out staycation whatever we're doing okay this was up next there was more St. John and it looks like it's just a blouse this looks like I might have to wash it a bit but it's super cute it might go with the pants um, I'm going to see if I can either put them together. People love the buttons or I can sell it as a separate. It is St. John separate. That same person donated this as well. Next to St. John was this piece by Millie. Millie does extremely well on eBay, especially if it's a standout piece. This one I got to do some research on, but it's super cute, lightweight for spring. I think there might be like a little crease mark in there, but I'm going to see if I can steam that. So, so cute. And it's a size medium. That's a really good size. Next to that was these brand new lulu pants i mean they still have the tag next to those blue pants and they have lulu like double on them and you could just tell like never been worn i mean 
maybe once and they have a cute little sheer ruching so those pants each i'm gonna be looking to 49 blue ones might go for more just because they are a little bit unique and harder to find and then last but not least oh it's all my stuff that was so fast it was i got these maternity pants something told me look at maternity i just breezed through them but these look like really high quality and i could tell the the little pocket this is ag goldschmied ag jeans do extremely well because they are maternity i think they'll do even better because it's a rare kind of style to find excellent condition look like they maybe warm once and the price was right six dollars i will take it there were some cute like blank nyc jeans free people jeans they're wanting eight and up i'm really working on getting my cost of goods low because when you start spending a lot of money um you want to make sure you're making a lot back and you don't want to overspend so anyway that is all for today guys thank you so much for watching if my energy was kind of weird i was here and i'm here and i'm here it's just because i'm excited I really, really was just praying on, you know, some good finds and, and God delivered tenfold. And this was all one day, just two stops. And it is less, it's a lot less people out thrifting that could be it for resale. But I just, you know, went in and I just kept looking and I may even have to go back to other location because where there's one, there's more. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Happy thrifting. Stay safe. And if you guys liked what you saw, comment below. Have you found St. John? Do you like selling it? What kind of things are you guys selling right now? Thank you. Bye.